Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and I'm here playing two different nostalgic games. The first of which is the Snow of Placidia, which is a horror game that pays tribute to old N64 games, specifically The Legend of Zelda, as you can see by this opening here. God, that's so much soul. Why are you flying? The wind coming out of these cracks can lift you up. Isn't that cool? Sounds more hot. I'm assuming it's steam. So quick note, this is part of Madvent Calendar 2020. Uh, I just did a video on the 2021 one, um, but I'm kind of, kind of went back as like, oh, you know, I didn't check out the 2020 version. Let's see what games are on here. Just kind of looking around, taking in the sights. Oh no, I can't jump. Is it like, yeah, it's auto jump. So it, it literally controls like Legend of Zelda. Amazing, I can't believe it's really snowing. Does it not snow here very often? Huh, 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 huh. Dang, I'm short. Careful, there was a landslide up ahead. Looks like we're gonna be stuck here for a while. Graphically, we're a little closer to Final Fantasy VII, though. Uh, there was never a game I think that looked kind of like this. Huh. Huh. Hey, how you doing? I heard a ruckus down in the caverns a while ago. Snow started pouring out of the mountain after that. Snow? I guess that's what's lifting us up too, see? What the? There's a lot of mushrooms down here. What do you think? My cloud-haired friend. They finally got the cabin doors to open. But it caused a big earthquake. Huh! 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 Hiya! I don't know if it's falling damage, but I'm not quite sure if I want to risk it. it. Might not be. Catch me, catch me, catch me, catch me. Uh oh. I need to get some air. Like, you can't stand on it to have it lift you up. You need to get air, and then it'll lift you up. Let's make sure I have enough momentum this time. There we go. Now 
know what they've also nailed? They've nailed the soundtrack. This era of gaming had very dreamy soundtracks. Same with the anime of that era too, the late 90s, early 2000s. Oh, wait, hey, hey. Hey. Mushrooms. Oh god, we're getting Junji Edo'd. That's not snow. Hello, you live? Oh god, it's coming out of your mouth. It's like twitching in your eye. Why'd you open the runes? And you went around the spike. The forbidden runes were labeled that for a reason. It's one big spore. What do we do here? Oh yeah, we're done. We... Oh, I'm alive? Does our face look a little different, or we just... No, we just never really got a close look at. So it caved in behind us. So this, there was no snow. The snow was... The spores coming out of the mountain in the caverns, because they disturbed... A, well, they disturbed a giant mushroom. Now how am I going to get up there? Oh, I can... Walk on this. Oh, this was the area I came in initially. Oh god, it's upgrown over. You okay? There's something crawling in my head. Please help. No can do. Oh my god. Help! Help! There, there's something growing inside. This like blood is kind of creepy. It's got like a different effect. Wait, where did you go? Well, the mushroom bursted out. You. Oh my god, you became one of the mushroom. Because it bursted out of the, the air vent. Ah, uh, that's creepy. Oh, my screen. No! Not me! Not like this! What? What's happening? Death. screen's getting worse. Maybe the way's cleared out. No, it isn't. Look at V and everything caved in. A little too convenient. Ugh! Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop! Everything hurts! Oh, man. 
That's a that's a bad fate. Oh yeah, the snow of Basidia. Teledrop. You've made a terrible fate, haven't you? So the endgame portion of this game, um, I think works on like a little bit of a timer before you explode in mushrooms. So I just did a quick replay to try to get the dialogue out for everyone. The second game we'll be playing is called Down in the Dungeon. This game is also part of the Madvin Calendar 2020. And I was drawn to this one because it's supposed to be kind of a replica of the 90s, of being in a basement and just sitting here and playing video games. Or maybe late 1980s. I'm not quite sure. We'll find out, I guess. But I do see it's Super Nintendo. I see Yoshi's World down there. A Sony Baymax player. Dad said it's superior to VHS, but I never see a beta tape at Video Club. That's such a nerd. Super Nintendo. My Super Nintendo. I have Santa for Donkey Kong Country 2 and Chrono Trigger. Yoshi's Island's pretty good, but Baby Mario is so annoying. I hope people stop making baby characters. They all suck. They will. But they'll move on to other stuff instead. Remote. Is there actual stuff on this? TNT. Input 1. Yeah, so that actual Yoshi's Island on. I can't play that technically, I think. Tell's pretty... pretty strict about that. A VHS player. Dad uses the transfer tapes to beta. Some of my favorite board games and books. The Talisman, Dungeons and Dragons, Rule Cyclopedia, some Super Nintendo, and Genesis games. Look, we got wood paneling. Some nice couches. We got some lights. There we go. That's better. A lot of Dad's favorite stuff from college. Books and trains, AV equipment, Lord of the Rings, Heavy Metal magazine. Oh yeah, Heavy Metal. Wait, save for dad? Yeah, see, save with me. I, I remember my dad, he gave me Lord of the Rings. I, I found a heavy metal thing in his collection. Then he had Conan, the Barbarian. And he gave me like the first book of Dune, some other stuff. Seems like a cliche. Dog. Bark. Sleep tight, Max. It's upstairs. You get yourself a big basement. A bucket of old toys from church sales. Some turtles, Ghostbusters, Batman, my sister's Barbies. You want to save those Ninja Turtles. Hey, it's Scully. The mascot. I can throw the ball. Brilliant. Locked.
It's been snowing outside. I can feel the cold coming from the door. Hmm. Computer. Do we... I feel like if I play one of these, we are going to get an actual game. Let me see. Yeah, so we are getting actual games. Funny face? Nice. Soul. It's a furnace room. Different side of there. What's in here? Wait, what? It's just a meat freezer, right? Modern machines. You're wasting some of the space in here. You can do some more storage in this room. There's a bathroom. I took a shower like two days ago already. Youch. Dang, I'm looking good. I'm a vampire! Oh yeah, toilet action. Hold like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Records. Mom loves collecting records. I don't know why. Cassettes are smaller and CDs don't have to be flipped every 20 minutes. The art is pretty sweet though. You save those records too. From the future. A Technics receiver and a stereo amplifier. Mom spurs by Japanese electronics. Japan made the Super Nintendo, so they can't do anything wrong, I think. The Technics receiver and stereo amplifier, same thing. Good stuff, good stuff. Get your bean bags. Is there anything else around here I can look at? Uh, is this a rad room? Yeah. I could already tell, like, as soon as I walk, as soon as I open the door, like, from a distance, as soon as I open this door here, I was like this. It's like, like, oh, that's Mega Man. Mega Man X. Crawl space door? Hmm. December 16th, 1995. This year's Simpsons poster is really weird. Marge is naked. Wait, what? Was that actual? I don't know. I never really had calendars. Not as good as Mega Man X, but the poster is cool. Yeah, true. Doom is so cool. I got in trouble in school when I told my friend what a BFG stands for. Your noises. Can I go upstairs, by the way? Is that an option? Is there an upstairs? Yeah. No. We're, we're stuck to the basement where we play the video games. They have plenty of spacious room, apparently. Ugh, stupid crawlspace latch is broken. I can't sleep with the door open. So creepy. Stay close. Okay. I can't sleep with the door open. It gets drafty. I sleep with the door open. Time for bed? Sleep. Mm, yeah, sleep on top of my sheets. A nothing horn going on here. Hello?
Dog. It's going to be a good, comfy winner. Did I wake up and like it was... Hmm. So that's it for these two different games. Uh, there's a few other games on the 2020 advent calendar that um, I'll probably check out at some point. But the second game, like I said, is just a... It's basically a nostalgia romp. If you came from that era, it's just a nice thing to see. Although I myself never have lived in a house with a basement. I still recognize like all the things that were in that basement though. And the first game was... An extremely loyal tribute to the N64 uh, Legend of Zelda games. It's pretty short. Like all, all the games on the, the, the Madvin calendars are very short. Some are only like one minute long, kind of short. But if it wasn't such a simplified style, if it wasn't paying tribute to that era, the inherent concept is very horrifying. It's like they pushed the limits of what they could do with the style for the concept, in a sense. Because I knew they couldn't do like a lot of gore. You couldn't do like a lot of things like that. You just needed the shot of the, the mushrooms coming out of the eyes. And that's it. That That's that's all you need to know. And you're already like horrified at what happened. But so for that, you can't really say much more about it. It's, you know, it is what it is. We just don't really know to explain the plot. It's like, oh, spores come out of mountain, everyone dies. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play these two different games. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.